hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Usereme, and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i went about the making of this beautiful dress i'm putting on right now i made mine in black as you can see in the video right here so if this is something you're interested in learning how to make you definitely want to keep on watching this channel and let's get started with the video to make this dress you will need to make cover buttons when you buy the fabric at the market what I have here is 10 pieces, although I'm going to be using just some of them. Next, you will need a chantilly lace fabric. What I have here is one yard, and one yard should be enough to give you your sleeve and the bustier area. For the body of the dress, you will need a plain fabric. What I'm using here is a fabric called chinot. You can use pure cotton or crepe if you do not see this type of fabric. Now we're going to draft out the pattern for the making of the dress. I already drafted out a basic dress pattern here. You will notice that this particular pattern doesn't have a dart. I did not put a dart here because the dress you are trying to recreate, you will notice that there was no dart on the dress. But just go ahead and draft out your basic dress pattern. And from there, you are going to go ahead and draw out the pattern for the making of the dress. So I'm going to be looking closely at the dress that we are trying to recreate. And I'm going to draft out the basque line in front and the cup area. So first I'm going to connect a V shape from the waist to meet this hip line here. It's actually very easy. So you just connect your ruler from the waistline where you have your waist curve to meet the hip line here. So now I'm going to be cutting through this line like this. Now the bottom part is no longer needed. The upper part is what we are going to be working with. So I'll be using this to cut out the front and the back. I'll be cutting out the back first. I have my fabric folded into two as you can see and I've drawn out a straight line here. This is the zipper allowance line. So from the center to this line, I marked one and a half inch. Now I'm going to be placing my pattern here exactly on this line. That's the center part of my pattern and I'm going to go ahead and pin it down. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut all the way around the pattern. So on the armhole, I do not like to give my armhole too much allowances. So I'm just giving it about a quarter of an inch. On the shoulder area, I'm giving it half an inch. Now for the neckline, I am giving it half an inch as well. The depth of this particular neckline is one inch. So it is perfect for my back neckline. Now on the side, I am giving it about one and a half inch of stitching allowance. And at the bottom here, I'm giving it half an inch. So you can see how I gave the allowances all the way around. So this is the back pattern. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this pattern paper and use it to draft out the front. So when I was drafting out this pattern paper, I used the back neckline because the front neckline is different from the back. So that was why I used the back neckline to draft out this pattern. Now the first thing we're going to do is to determine the neckline of this dress. So from the line where you have your armhole here, I am going up by about one and a half inch. You can go up by one inch. You can go up by two inches, depending on how cover you want, covered you want the chest area to be. So for me, I came up by one and a half inch and I went ahead to draw a line across. So this new line becomes my neckline. So now from the armhole side of this line, I went in by one and a half inch at first. Although I reduced this earlier, I will show you guys how I went about that. So from the point I just drew, I connected to the neckline. After doing this, the next thing you want to do now is to get the cup area of this dress. So I am going to measure from my shoulder down to my under bust, just to be sure. I already know this is the under bust line, but I just want to be sure. So from the under bust line, I went up by half an inch because for this dress, I do not want to maintain the under bust line. So I went up by half an inch. And after doing that, next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is to come in from the middle here, at the center of the dress by half of an inch. So I'm going to be connecting a curve to meet the new line I drew that is now serving as my under bust line. But before I do that, I went in by half of my nipple to nipple measurement on this line. So once you're done marking that, you're going to connect a curve from the top to meet this um, point you created on the under bust line. If you do not understand all the English I'm speaking, just look at what I'm doing right now in the video. So guys, next I need to connect the other side. But as I was about to connect the other side, I realized that the yoke I marked earlier was a little bit too wide. So what I did is from the armhole, I came in by one inch now. And from this one inch point, I'm going to connect still to the shoulder area. 
and I now max this out so this is no longer the line I'm following so this new line is where I'll curve my bustier from now I hope that you guys understand I did this to be able to have enough space for my bust to sit so instead of one and a half inch like I told you guys earlier use one inch and when you're done connect to meet the under bust line like I've just done so now this is all for the drafting out of the front pattern I'm going to go ahead and cut this out now and I'm going to slash and spread the bustier area so now to spread this cup area what I'm going to do is to divide what I have at this top into three and I'm going to go ahead and draw straight line across to the bottom of the curve and I'm going to mark one two and three and cut out these pieces next I'm going to bring in a bigger piece of pattern paper and I'm going to arrange these three pieces on it at the top and I'm going to go ahead and pin it down so now after placing the pattern number one here I'm going to go ahead and measure one and a half inch as the distance between pattern one and the pattern number two so now I place pattern number two here and I'm going to go ahead and pin it down as well now if you're very busty you might use more than one and a half inch as the distance between your pieces but for me i'm using one and a half inch you can use two inches and you can use three inches as well like i said it all depends on how busty you are so i'm going ahead to pin all of these down and once i was done i went ahead to align all the curved areas so that it remains curved like this and now i'm going to go ahead and cut out this piece so now these are all the three pieces we are going to be using for the front i'm going to go ahead and cut these out now on my fabric i have my fabric folded into two as you can see and i'm placing this body of the front pattern on this folded edge right here so i'm going to go ahead and pin it in place make sure that your center front pattern is exactly on the folded edge next i'm going to pin the cup pieces and the yoke pieces randomly these ones don't need to be placed at the folded edge but just make sure that you have spaces in between them so now i'm going to go ahead and cut out the pieces so for the sleeve area on the part that is curved for the armhole i'll just give it a little allowance on the shoulder i give it half an inch at the bottom here half an inch and at the center part half of an inch as well now for the cup area i am going to go ahead and first of all cut it straight down and i'm going to go ahead and remove the cup and push it down a little bit so that i'll be able to have one inch of stitching allowance at the upper part of the cup because we need to be able to fold it to get our elastic casing at the top of the cup so you must have at least one inch of stitching allowance at this top so i'm going to give one inch to the top here or one and a half inch depending on what you want but one inch should do the work so okay so after giving one inch stitching allowance to the top i'm going to go ahead and just add half an inch stitching allowances all the way around the other part of the cup now for the other body part i'm going to add about quarter of an inch to the armhole like i always do half an inch to the top here half an inch all the way around the curve one inch to the side and half an inch at the bottom just like i did on the back pattern so now these are all the pieces we are going to be working with for the cup and the yoke i'm going to go ahead and cut them out on the lace fabric so basically you are going to fold your lace fabric into two place your pattern pieces on it and go ahead and cut it out exactly as it is on the fabric so these are all the pieces we are going to be working with for the front we are going to be starting with the front pattern so i've gone ahead to remove all the pins and my pattern paper so this is the actual fabric I also went ahead to cut out a lining pieces a lining piece exactly as what i have on the actual fabric so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is place them right sides facing each other and i'm going to pin down the middle part and stitch it down on the sewing machine i also went ahead to pin down the sides as well so i'm going to go over to the sewing machine and i'm going to stitch this center and the side just the center and the sides now also for the back piece remember we cut out this back piece earlier i have also gone ahead to cut out lining pieces for it so i'm going to place it right sides facing each other with the lining and i'm going to go ahead and pin down the neckline the center back and the side so guys this is it i'm going to go ahead and stitch all the way around the areas that i've pinned and i'll do the same thing for the other side so guys i'm done stitching it down and this is what it looks like so you can see this area is open 
but I stitch down this center here. You can see I stitch down the center and I stitch down the side. So that's all for this body part for now. Next, I'm going to bring the cup pieces. I'm going to pick one actual fabric and one lace. Place them like this. Just like you see me doing like this. The actual fabric is serving as the lining in this, in this case. And I'm going to go ahead and just pin it in place. Next, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to the wrong side. And I'm going to fold this in like this. About half of an inch or three quarter of an inch fold because this is where we are going to be passing our elastic through um the cup area so you want to make sure it's wide enough for your elastic to pass through so i'm going to go ahead and fold it in like this and pin it down and i will take it over to the sewing machine and make a top stitch so guys i'm done making the top stitch at the both tops so now i'm going to pass my elastic through the casing that i've gotten so now to know the width of elastic to use, you're just going to measure from one end to the other end of your curve and that's what you will use to um, measure out your elastic. So mine was about four and a half. I'm going to use this four and a half inches to cut out two pieces of elastic. Once you're done, you're going to use your safety pin to pass the elastic through the casing that you have. When you're passing it through, you want to make sure that when you get to the end here, you just use a pin to hold it into place like this. And then push it through to the other side and then hold it to place as well and then i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and use a um and stitch it down on both ends so that the elastic remains in place so i'm going to do the exact same thing for the other piece as well so guys i'm done securing the elastic in place so i'm going to stitch it on the curved area of the cup so i place the top of the um bustier piece and the top of the center part here together and on this side i'm going to place it about half an inch below the side okay so you should have about half an inch at this other side here but at the center place it exactly at the center so once you're done pinning it at both tops you're going to try to get the middle of the curved area of the cup and then try to Place the middle of the cup with the middle of the curved area. Just try to align it to like centralize the two pieces. So you are going to be having excess on both sides. So at the bottom area here, I'm going to just um, pleat the cup like this, just at the bottom area. So I'm just going to pleat it here a little bit on this side and just pleat it until the rest of the cup is now perfectly fitting into the area where it's supposed to be so now this other side is perfectly fitting and i'm just going to go ahead and pin it down straight so the only area you're going to be pleating is the bottom okay so now I'll do the same thing on this side so i'm going to pleat it in a little bit here like this and pin it down i will do about three pleats as well just like i did on the other side and after which i'll just pin the remaining parts straight up so guys i'm done pinning it in place now and this is what it looks like turning it over to the right side you can see it looks nice i'm okay with what i have so i'm going to go over to the sewing machine now and make a top stitch to secure all the areas that are pinned down and i will do the exact same thing for the other side as well so guys this is it after i was done stitching it down i went ahead to search the rough edges so that it looks neat as well and this is what i have in front now the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in the yoke pieces align them like this and then we're going to place our net on them my lace on it as well like this okay so i'm going to stitch down the center part so i'll just turn it over like this right sides facing each other and just pin down the straight part which is the neckline area and i'm just going to go over to the sewing machine and make a straight stitch here so guys i'm done stitching them down now and i've turned it over to the right side and ironed it out so i'm going to be joining it with the rest of the body of the dress and how i'm going to be doing this is i'm going to open this up like this and let the back go in then i'm going to cover it up in front with my lace it's just the same way i go about um, doing my armholes if you follow my channel a lot so when you take it up it looks very neat like this so another way you can go about it is let me show you guys with this one so turn your yoke over like this upside down 
and then use the lining to cover up everything that you have here and just go ahead and pin it down so once you chill with that i'm just going to head over to the sewing machine and make a straight stitch on the areas that are pinned down on both sides okay guys this is it i'm done stitching it down remember the back pieces that i went ahead to stitch down earlier this is what it's looking like right now so i'm going to go ahead and just place them right sides facing each other and pin down the center back where we are going to be fixing our zipper so now after pinning down the center back i'm going to place the front and the back pieces right sides facing each other and i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and join them at the shoulders this is what i had after i was done joining them at the shoulders so now the next thing i want to do is to work on the sleeves i have gone ahead to cut out my basic long sleeve i have a video on the channel already on how to go about um, a basic long sleeve and a short sleeve so i'll be linking that down in the description box so i'm going to be placing the center of my sleeve on the joining i have on my shoulders here and i'm going to go ahead and pin the rest of the sleeve into the armhole i will do it on both sides and i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and stitch the sleeve down i'm going to do the exact same thing for this other side of the sleeve so now i'm done joining the sleeves to the armhole area and this is what i had i made sure that the sleeve was way longer than my wrist you notice that the dress has a very long sleeve so now the next thing i'm going to do is to attach the bottom of the dress so now my shoulder to waist measurement is 16 inches and the full length i want this dress to be is about 45 inches so i went ahead to cut out another piece of fabric to use as the gathers for the bottom part now i removed 16 inches from 45 to get the length of this particular piece so after removing 16.45 i had about 29 something like that for the length of the bottom part and for the width because it's going to be gathered you need to have a lot of fabric so that it will look full so what i had here for the width was 44 inches and you know you can use more than 44 inches depending on how full you want it to be I went ahead to stitch a gather stitch at the top and what I'm going to do now is to pull on one of the threads to be able to make my gathers. So now after making the gathers, I went ahead to arrange it on this curved area where I'm going to be placing it to be sure that it's long enough to go around. Once I was okay with what I had, I turned the fabric upside down. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it all the way around the v-shape I have on the upper part of the dress so now after pinning it round I'm going to go ahead and make a stitch here so guys this is what I had after I was done joining it to the front now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the back so I cut out the same type of fabric that I use as for the front exactly the same width and length but because the back has a zipper allowance I'm going to go ahead and divide this fabric into two equal halves and I'm going to also make gathers at the top as well. So first divide that fabric into two and then go ahead and make gather stitches at the top. So now I've removed the pins from the center back. So what you're going to do is you're going to gather one on each side. So I'll gather this one to this side and gather the other part to this other side of the back. So guys, I'm just stitching down one side of the back and the other side as well. This is what it looks like so i'm arranging the two pieces right sides facing each other and i'm going to go ahead and pin it down i'll be placing a zipper at the upper part so from where the zipper will stop here i'm going to just pin it down to the end of the dress i'm going to be making a straight stitch here and i'll fix a zipper at the upper part so i'll join the center back fix the zipper and join the bottom part this is what it looks like so the last part here now is for us to join the sides so i'm going to pin from the sleeve all the way through to the body of the dress and i'm going to go ahead and stitch down both sides when you're stitching down the side of your dress you will need to make use of your body measurement so i'm going ahead to just pin it down now i will use my body measurement to stitch the, them down on the side i will do it for this side and the other side as well so i'm done stitching it down on both sides and this is what i have now remember our cover buttons from the beginning of this video 
we are going to be placing them at the center of the dress. You will have to measure to be sure that they are exactly at the center. So I used my tape to make sure that they were exactly at the center. I used my needle and thread to fix them in place. And this is the final look of the dress. Thank you so much for watching.